Lobster mini season in full swing now. What is typically a popular 48 hours in the Keys is now becoming an even bigger event right here in our backyard. Since midnight, Phil Foster Park has seen a constant flow of divers coming and going. The Now's Jillian Idol tells us how this is also a win for local businesses. Scott Briegel loves his bugs. I've been lobstering about 25 years now. This year, instead of heading down to the Keys for lobster mini season, he's loading his boat here at Phil Foster Park and sticking around Palm Beach. Yeah, you know the Same goes for other divers. Sharks are out, lobster are walking, and we're diving. Some fear the trip down south means leaving empty handed. I think the reefs down in the Keys might have been filled with sand. The damage left behind by Hurricane Irma last September. Disturbed the ocean, nobody's really out there for a while. You had big disruption in the Keys. There's large commercial uh, lobstering in the Keys. <laughs> Force East Scuba Center off Blue Heron Boulevard is trying to keep up with this year's demand. Traffic is literally tripled uh, this particular season. Both in rentals and people buying gear. With the majority choosing to dive off Palm Beach and the Treasure Coast. Quite adrenaline rush and a very good dinner. This shop isn't sure if it's the impact of Irma and the Keys that's causing the spike in sales or the abundance of lobsters recently spotted in our waters or both. But either way, they say it's a good sign of what's to come. Regular season, there'll still be plenty left. There's no way we catch them all. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. In Riviera Beach, Jillian Idol for the now South Florida.